Hello YouTubers. Um, many years ago when I first had a computer, um, I guess I was about 70 years old and we had operating systems like uh, uh, 3.1, 95, 98 ME and XP and all those things. Um, uh, in order to learn about computers, I went to a local college, a college that I'd been to before, and I did all the uh, all, all the things like word processing and spreadsheets and all that stuff. And I gradually learned a little bit how to use a, a computer. But of course, nowadays I'm not physically able to do that, so any of my learning has to be done with. Um, instruction books and help files and of course nowadays it's wonderful that uh, anything you search in Mr Google will come up with um, some instruction to help you um, and um, of course Google stroke YouTube uh, there's always a video there about somebody who will tell you uh, just what you want to know um, anyway the um, situation was last week I was asked to do a video for some company uh, and they wanted it done um, in the dark well that seemed a bit silly to me uh, but very low light and uh, so I decided I would um, I would do it by candlelight on my iPad because I was able to set up the iPad you know in, uh, in a room other than this one anyway it turned out to be terrible I should have known really with uh, yellow light uh, all the skin tones are going to be completely wrong and my face looked like it was uh, the color of a lobster um, so I thought well okay um, I'll take it over to the uh, to the iMac and uh, I can put it in iMovie there and I know I can manipulate the tones and things of the video so I had to find out how to do that. Well I knew there was a way that you could sync your eyes or sync your iPad with your uh, with your other computer and uh, and transfer things across. Um, I've got a um, a connection for the iPad that will take a USB and uh, I, I think I'd like to do it the old-fashioned way with a uh, memory stick or some other sort of uh, uh, hard drive a mini hard drive or something but iMacs don't like that so uh, that wasn't a good idea and when I researched the book uh, instruction book about how to sync things across to the uh, to the iMac um, for me it um, it didn't work I guess I did things wrong or I didn't read the instructions and the other thing that annoys me intensely anything you you want to transfer takes the blasted stuff into iTunes and I don't know why I don't like iTunes it's a program I've never really investigated and so I had to find another way and um, yes I know you could you can put your um, your photos or your videos or anything in Dropbox or in the cloud or on somebody else's uh, server and then you can get them back to any computer. It's quite a wonderful system I think but uh, there's nothing free in this world and eventually you're going to have to pay for it. So I found a application and I still hate that word but uh, an app which was called Simple Transfer. And that application is a very easy way of transferring things. As you can see, um, it has to be done wirelessly, of course. Uh, but uh, all you have to do is to, uh, on the computer you want to receive the um, information, is to put in your IP address into your browser, which as you can see in my case I've naturally blanked it out. And uh, hey presto, the job is done. So uh, I hope maybe that information might help you in some way as well, should you want to do similar things. Um, 
And as I say, I mean there must be many other applications that will do the same thing. Uh, I don't really know, but that was the one that I found and um, um, I, would, I would recommend it. So until next time, as always, goodbye.